So another little quick tip for all you newbies to camping is when you're cooking, plan easy meals because sometimes you think like, I mean, if you love cooking and you want to do a complicated thing, do it. But my tip is that make something easy. That's why I love the grill. Cut up some veggies. There's not too much cleaning afterwards. You know, the more things you have to do in the process of whatever you, it is that you cook, there's more washing, there's more everything to do. So a grill, you slap it on, cut it up, slap it on, and you eat it. So there's my tip. Choose easy meals, things like pastas, wraps, grill, stir fries. Sometimes I'm just cutting up veggies, bit of chicken, throw it all together and it's easy. Even if you want to be even easier, eat it out of the pot. If you're being solo and you don't care about looking cool, you know, just eat it out of the pot and clean it. It's easy. But anyway, that's the next tip. Choose easy meals. So if you can, if you have the resources, I highly recommend just renting a camper van from a rental company and doing like a two week road trip. See how it goes, you know, like, do you need a full bathroom? Do you like a cooking setup? Do you like the configuration? Do you need a four by four? These are all things that are really helpful to work out before you invest in a van and just renting a camper van is a really great way to do that. Um, another option, if you have friends that already are living on the road, maybe you could go do like a extended camping trip with them and just see how they live. You can kind of get some behind the scenes advice. Or if you have a vehicle that you can maybe push the seats up or lay the seats down, if you have an SUV, um, you could just throw a camping mattress and a sleeping bag and a pillow in the back and go do a two week road trip and see if you like it. Because there's a chance that you really won't. <laughs> there's a chance that you, you won't like being in a small space. You'll miss having a bathroom. You'll miss having a hot shower. Maybe you can't work very well on your laptop. There's a lot of things to consider. So I really highly recommend trying it out first. So let's say you tried it out, you did the road trip, and you loved it. So now it's time to do your research. It's a Wi-Fi or cell booster. So personally on our van, we put on a cell booster because where we're parked up a lot of the time, there's no service. So by having a cell booster, it basically takes that signal that you're trying to get at when that you have, you know, either no bars or one bar and you can turn it on and it'll boost it, you know, as high as it's capable of. You can get them in cellular or a Wi-Fi booster form. So you can be boosting Wi-Fi, say from the Starbucks or the McDonald's. 